The last thing you want is for a vehicle's wheel bearings to dry up. Why? Because they might overheat, explode, and your wheels will fall off. They are easy to work on though with relatively cheap and basic tools. Here's how I did it on my IFS Square Body Suburban. First, take your wheel off. Then tap off the dust cap carefully so you don't dent it. Pull the cutter pin out of the castle nut. Remove the castle nut and the big washer. If the bearings haven't been abused, you should be able to remove the nut by hand. Otherwise, pick up a big crescent wrench from the big HF. At this point, you can determine if the grease looks plentiful and gooey or sparse and dry. Mine looked okay, but it didn't look new, so I removed the caliper and rotor to inspect the bearings and races for wear. I got this bearing seal remover from AutoZone for 15 bucks. There didn't seem to be any discoloration, grooves, or scratches, so they were safe to re-grease and reuse. Remove as much grease from the bearings and hub by hand as you can. Then pour some mineral spirits into a pan and start scrubbing. You want all of the grease off everything. It helps to have a can of brake cleaner to remove unseen grease. When the bearings look clean, spray it inside and out with compressed air. Use these methods to clean out the hub, castle nut, dust cap, and spindle. Using a tub of wheel bearing grease, get a glob in one hand and a bearing in the other and work that stuff into every nook, cranny, and crevice you can. You scrape it into the bearing like you're scraping mud under your nails. You'll see what I mean when you get the bearing in your hand, but you really want to pack it all in. Pick up your new vehicle specific bearing seal from your local auto parts store or online. To tap this seal in, I'm using the race and seal drive set that I got from the big HF. Pack the hub full of grease by hand and wiggle it all back onto the spindle. You'll find different info online about how to properly torque the axle nut. My way is to crank it down hard to seat it, then back it off till you can turn it by hand. Then tighten it by hand till the nut won't turn and the hub just doesn't wiggle. If you can feel any tension on the hub when you spin it, it's too tight. And if there's a wiggle, it's too loose. Too loose and your wiggly hub will cause uneven tire wear and premature ejecto cuz on that wheel. Get your head out of the gutter too tight and the binding will cause heat and premature failure as well. After you like and subscribe, smear some grease into the dust cap to prevent rust and lightly coat the seal surface with some ultra gray or ultra black. Tap the cap on, bolt the caliper down and put the wheel back on. It took me less than two hours to do both sides by myself. Now that you know how easy it is, no excuse not to check your wheel bearings so you know your wheels won't fall off. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. See you on the next one.